Hi, Beard here. Today I have the Mark 2.5S upgrade, the Mark 3S upgrade, and then the MMU2S upgrade. Uh, I have all of these upgrades that happen to arrive around the same time. So let's see what's inside each of these and see if there's any differences with them. Uh, so with that, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Not sure if anybody's going to join the stream today. This is kind of like a uh, quick one-off uh, type of stream. So let me open these up here. So this is the Mark uh, 2.5S extruder upgrade kit uh, from Crusoe. Uh, these kits, I think, are $20. So first things first, we get a congratulations. Uh, so it does recommend that you go to some sites uh, for the assembly instructions. Um, on the back, it does have the date uh, it was put together. Uh, so May 11th, it says, and a weight that I am unable to read. And then uh, we have a cheat sheet for uh, bolt sizes and uh, other fasteners, it looks like. So Allen keys, PTFE tubes, et cetera. Uh, next, we get some instructions on printing the parts. So this upgrade kit will include some uh, PETG. And with that, they do uh, give you bed preparation instructions, and I believe that's Windex right now. So that looks very cool. Uh, let's see what else we have. So we have our little air pockets. My dog likes to eat those. Um, we have an E-axis kit. And inside there, you see we have a standard set of parts, including some uh, magnets. Uh, the steel ball bearing should be in here. Um, and a bunch of screws and a new spring. Let me see, I'm not seeing the spring in there. Yep, there's the springs in there. So, so that's the E axis uh, bag. It also includes a spare bag, and it looks like it includes some more magnets, another steel ball, um, a that does look like the I actually can't tell what that is M3 by two. Maybe that's just a uh, set screw of some sort. So I can't tell, oh, there it is. I don't, I don't know what an M3 by two is. Should be a very, I mean, if I see M3 by two, I'm thinking a very short screw, but I'm not seeing a short, short screw in there. So maybe I'm misreading it, no. So I don't know what the M3 by two is. Uh, not seeing that. <clears throat> uh, next, we have the extruder Mark 2.5S upgrade. So this specifically says on it the Mark 2.5S upgrade, uh, where the other bags uh, said that they were compatible. They had uh, listings for uh, like the MMU2S and the uh, Mark 3 on it. This is for the Mark 2.5S specifically. It does include some more PTFE tubes. Um, it has a printed fan shroud. We do have a nice selection of zip ties in there. Try to get that all on screen. And then that foil pack, I believe, has the new uh, filament sensor in it. Um, so yeah, it's the new filament sensor. And then of course, a connector uh, cable for that. And maybe that's the very specific part uh, for the filament sensor. And what else do we have in here? We have one spool of, uh, I believe it's 300 grams of black PETG. And lastly, we have one of these nylon wrap tubes. So um, depending on when you got your printer, uh, you might have plastic uh, on your uh, bed and your hot end, uh, plastic wraps, uh, which are called call these sheaths. Um, so you might have plastic on there, so they're having you change it out for the nylon. And that's because some of the wires will wear out with the plastic. Um, I'm surprised they don't also include the bed one. Uh, this is for the Mark 2.5. So that is the older style printer. Uh, but if you have the Mark 2.5, everything else should be good. And maybe the Mark 2.5 did not ship any, or all the 2.5 upgrades included the spiral wrap or the uh, new wrap for the bed already. So maybe that's why it's like, let me get everything back in this box um, for whoever 
just going to put this together. I've, uh, I'm selling off all my Cruise of Mark 2.5s, so I'm actually just not going to use it. So moving on to the Mark 3 to Mark 3S upgrade. Uh, let's see if there's any differences. I have opened this before, but just enough to peek inside. Um, the other ones I have not opened. So we get the same sheet, front and back. Uh, again, we get the, here's how you print everything, sheet. We do get our bag of air again. That is air fresh from uh, Czech Republic. So uh, again, we get the same E-axis kit, it looks like. So this is gonna be the same kit, hopefully in all three of these boxes. Then we get a uh, spare kit, and that's gonna be the same, uh, hopefully in all three boxes. I still don't know what that uh, M3 by two is. I must be missing something, or uh, maybe I'm just too tired for it, but I'm not seeing like a two millimeter M3. That would be uh, pretty crazy. So I know the like the Bontex have uh, a really short set screw, but I don't think it's M3 at all. And then we get the Mark 3S extruder upgrade kit. And this one is gonna vary from the um, 2.5, or at least it should vary from the 2.5 a little bit. Uh, so let's see, you get the IR sensor, you get the IR lens cable, some zip ties, uh, some uh, uh, hot end tubes, and uh, of course the cooling shroud. Now, I'm curious, uh, what is the difference between the two bags here? So here's the other bag. It looks pretty much the same to me. It must be the cable. Uh, the cables do have different colors. So this one has a blue wire in it, and the one for the Mark III doesn't have a blue wire in it. So it's probably just a different connector to handle the um, different board that is in that printer. So that's really the big difference here, uh, because next we get the um, PET, and then we get the same uh, wrap. Now, I do know some Mark III's uh, have a uh, plastic wrap on them. So it's curious that they didn't include both. And there isn't another one inside here. So uh, the other interesting thing is the latest Mark III's ship with, or the Mark III S is ship with the Gates belts. And uh, Prusa did not include Gates belts as a replacement for the early Mark III's uh, when they moved to the Mark III S. And, uh, I don't know, I, I felt they should have. I mean, I know they also have a new power supply and I don't fault them for not shipping the power supply, but uh, the Gates belts would have been a very nice um, addition to that. And lastly, we have the upgrade. Oh, hey, Sholm, how's it going? If you don't know, I don't know. Set my 3D peeps. Tired, wake up. No, I, I think you might be the only one on the chat, Sholm. Uh, lastly, I have the upgrade kit. MMU2 to MMU2S. Um, this was sent, I believe, for free, or it was a voucher because uh, I had bought the MMU2 before the S version, and I think they upgraded everybody for free. Um, it wasn't sent to me free uh, for any other reason than that. Um, but uh, let's see what's inside of it and uh, see how it compares to the other two kits. Now, what's really interesting, though, is this was... This came for free, but I ordered the original MMU2 at MMU2 for a Mark 2.5. So I don't know what's going to happen with the uh, sensor cable because, as we saw in the other two boxes, one sensor cable is for a Mark 3, and the other sensor cable, uh, there's an emergency alert for a tornado. Uh, we interrupt this important broadcast. So let me turn that off. Um, so uh, I'm curious what cable I'm going to get and if it's going to work with my Mark 2.5 anymore. Uh, so let's see what's inside of here. So uh, we get the same sheets again. Uh, it looks pretty much exactly the same. Uh, that's a good point, though. Uh, on the back, that mysterious M3 by 2 does not show up uh, of the sheet. So I don't know. Maybe it's a typo on their packaging. Uh, and then we get the printing instructions for the PET. 
Uh, it's laid out a little bit differently. So we do have our uh, PET. Uh, we get a bunch of our air bags. And in here, let's see. First off, we have a, okay, so I see a difference already. So we have the same E-axis bag. Looks like they're reusing the same, essentially the same bag for all the kitting between all the upgrade kits. We should have a spare bag. I'm gonna pull out the spare bag explicitly here. So we do have a spare bag. So same thing for all the kits. Um, with all the magnets and everything. It's nice to get the spare magnets too, because uh, if you let go of those things, they'll clunk together uh, and possibly shatter. Um, we do have some pre-printed parts here. Uh, and it looks like the top of the uh, extruder housing because it has the uh, brass insert already and the fan connector. Uh, then we have an extruder upgrade kit. And that does include the two PTFEs, the sensor and the zip ties, but no cable inside of this. And uh, normally, normally there would be a, uh, uh, oh, something's happening here. Hopefully I'm still online here. So normally there would be a, uh, the uh, fan shroud in here too, but since that's already in another bag. Um, then in this one, so this is what they did. They packaged the IR sensor cable separately since uh, I bought it with the 2.5 and they just throw this in based on which one you buy. So uh, that's very interesting as well. Um, and finally, uh, it looks like a kit to build the uh, buffering system. So with this, this just helps take up the slack and the filament as it's ejected. Um, comes with five uh, PTFE tubes um, and a bunch of screws. So that's interesting. It comes with a special handbook. The other ones didn't come with any kind of handbook at all. So this comes with a special handbook. And lastly, it looks like it comes with, I'm wondering how this all goes together. It comes with these plates. So it must be some uh, parts I print to go between these plates. Uh, these plates look all identical and there are uh, six of them in there. Um, they do have a plastic layer on it to protect the finish that you're gonna have to pull off. And uh, they are pretty thin, I don't know, maybe two millimeters, maybe less. So, and that's everything in this one. So it's it's much different layout, uh, but everything else seems the same. Um, and then the way they did their kitting is they just uh, pulled this wire out and then depending on which one you use on your system is the one they throw in the box at the last minute. So, and this was, this should have been a free upgrade for I believe everybody who ordered a MMU2 uh, prior to the S upgrade. So if you did order it and you don't have your voucher, just double check with them. Make sure you get your upgrade. Uh, it does look very cool. Uh, mostly it's it's just a free uh, upgrade to the, the S model. Um, and then it does have the new buffering system. Now, personally, I've not had an uh, uh, issue with the buffering uh, of the filament going into the unit and being retracted. Oh, I haven't had any tangles out of it. Um, and I've not had any breaks out of it either. Uh, my biggest issue is sometimes just uh, uh, after it retracts, there might be like a little thread on the end of the filament and then that, that sets off the sensor and it thinks the filament's still loaded and then it gets confused. Uh, but other than that, my MMU2S has been okay. Um, so I've, I've been more more or less happy with it. I mean, there, there are typical uh, issues with printing multi-material and doing all the loading and unloading and everything else. But I do wanna thank everybody for watching this. It's very cool that I was able to get all three of these. Um, and I think this might be one of the only uh, YouTube videos that's gonna have all three in one place so you can kind of see what the difference are. And, and the real difference comes down to that, that little tiny cable that connects the new sensor to the board. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you again. Uh, please subscribe if you like the video or if this helped you in any way. Uh, also, you can find me on Twitter at graybeard uh, underscore 3D. Um, or you can check out my website, graybeard3d.com. But thank you again, and uh, have a good day.